The Move Elastic Brush is a new addition to the brush library, and it's perfect for exploring shapes. I'll demonstrate on this polysphere, and you'll see how quickly I can start to come up with new ideas and new shapes just by using this one brush. But first I'm going to switch to the Move Brush so we can compare the regular Move Brush with the Move Elastic Brush. When I use the Move Brush and pull on the surface, you can see how the polygons become stretched. But when I switch to the Move Elastic Brush and start to tug on it, you can see that there's the surface is updating. That slight jiggling motion in the polygons is the surface updating. And uh, what ZBrush is doing is it's, it's uh, trying to maintain the overall size of the polygons in order to minimize stretching. So it's sort of equalizing the surface as I work. And this creates sort of a snapback feel that's very elastic, very organic, and it makes exploring shapes an awful lot of fun. You can see as I pull out, I also push back in just a little bit, and that also helps to define the form. And the only brushes I'm using here is the Move Elastic brush, and then every once in a while, I'm just smoothing it out a little bit by holding the Shift key. So you can see you have like a nice organic spaceship design going within just a few seconds, starting with just a, a basic polysphere. Now you also notice that I'm doing this on a fairly low resolution model, and that's the idea behind the Move Elastic brush. If you go in the brush palette, you'll notice that there's this elasticity auto off slider. And what this slider does is uh, it sets a limit. Uh, right now it's set to 25, which means 25,000 polygons. And this means that once the surface gets beyond 25,000 polygons, the Move Elastic Brush is going to behave more like the Move Brush. In other words, the elasticity uh, quality of the brush is going to be turned off. The reason this limit is there is because the, the calculations necessary to update the surface uh, can start to take longer and longer if you're using a really dense mesh. So the idea is to uh, use the Move Elastic Brush to define your form at a low resolution, and then once you've done that, go to a higher resolution and switch to other brushes. So for example, now I'm using the medium polish brush to start to define the, uh, the contours of the surface. In this example, I'm exploring shapes by turning on radial symmetry. So I have radial symmetry set. Uh, so I'm pulling on four parts of the surface at the same time with the Move Elastic brush. And you can see you can get something really interesting going very quickly. So in this case, I've created variations in the shape on different uh, 3D layers. By keyframing the strength of each layer, I can create an interesting animation right in ZBrush. 